Hi guys, we're here at the Super Micro booth and my personal favorite table, I actually saved it for last in the filming, it's the Blade table. I go way back with the Blade team at Super Micro. They're some of my favorite instruments to use in the lab and uh, they're really versatile. I got James here to show me uh, the newest entries in these. I've seen these in the past in uh, in San Jose, but I couldn't talk about them until now, so I'm really <laughs> excited. What do we got? Okay, thanks, Jordan. All right, so um, Super Blade, uh, is, uh, we have uh, uh, many form factor. For example, here this is a CCU uh, Super Blade, mm -hmm. and uh, we build, uh, we emphasize uh, our uh, high performance computing, high dense, and yep. uh, integration the power sh uh, power shaft. And uh, now we deliver uh, new uh, stuff just like this C CSL memory expander here. Oh, okay. Yes. So we. Uh, perform high speed and the two tiers memory, okay. so you can and uh, realize by the E three guys form factor yep. and to uh, to increase your memory. So I see I've got a lot of dims in here, and I can expand that using the CXL yes, on the front, right. or I could put E three dot storage in yes. here, so yeah. I could get some pretty dense storage. I think I could probably get like one hundred and twenty terabytes of storage in sure. one blade. Yes. That's a lot. So we have another option, just like there. You when you want to. Plug some uh, accelerator car okay. here, FBGA car or DPU car here. Okay. So we deliver a uh, expandable yeah. solution here, PCIe riser, PCIe can here, okay. and uh, support PCIe Gen 5. Okay, speed, so uh, Gen 5, half length, full height. Yes. Okay, and then uh, a couple of CPUs, so Xeon yes. 6, Xeon so 6. It's Sierra Forest, Forest today, Man. Granite Rapids soon. Yep, yeah. okay. Right. That's a lot of cores. That's uh, 288 cores yes. almost. And then when they come out with the exactly. new big ones, it's 288 times yes. two again. Yes. That's, that's a lot of cores. Yeah, <laughs> it's so much sure. more than yeah, high dense put it in, how many cores it is. Yeah, sure. Very dense. Okay. okay, right. Thank you. So this one looks, uh, I, I've seen this. This, one... this is a single socket. Okay. As you can see, it's a big bump here. Yeah. So this space we, we reverse for the GPU car. Okay. If you want to. Uh, uh, evaluate the AI machine learning yep. and big data. So okay. here, plug in here. Yeah. So GPU, any GPU here. Any so GPU. Yeah, sure. Okay. Right. Yeah, the, anything that'll fit yeah, in the, uh, the, the 2U, I can see, and then we've got our power connector back yeah. there for the 12 VHP. Right. Um, and, and then a couple of U.2 on two the front. Yes. Yep. Okay. okay, so again, 120 okay. terabytes with yeah. today's offerings yes. out there of storage. This is a building block solution, so we have yeah. a similar form factor yep. and the new sound data feature. Yeah. Yes. So you can have all of these or all of these or yeah. mix and match some GPU, yeah, sure. some CPU, depending on what yeah, right. workload you need. All and right. then this is the 8U Super Blade. Yeah, we have this is the one we have in the lab right now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you can imagine that in the full, uh, AU enclosure, we can plug 20 nodes. 20 yeah. break here, so this is the most high dense computer. Yep. Yeah, I see right. this one. You guys look like you might have made a couple of changes. I see maybe an OCP card on the yeah, front OCP now. Card, yeah, OCP card, yeah, OPC Ethernet. So okay. you can from 1G, 10G, 100G, 400G. Of course, once you, you have the feature, so you can plug in. Yeah, yeah. and then All I right. see the E1.S drive. E1 drives. So also, the support maybe a CXO solution. Okay. Yeah, sure. And this is the CPU one, yeah. but I know these also come with a GPU option as well yes. if you if you oh, want right. to do that. So oh, right. really dense. We love the blades in the lab. Yes. You guys see them in the background of all of our videos right, right now. And my friend Chris over at Supermicro takes really Very good care of us on the blade systems. Yeah. So really glad to see the newest and all latest and greatest right. offerings of these guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, James, for your yeah, time here. I really appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Right. Uh, Thanks. Stay tuned for more. We'll put a link in the description to both our coverage and Supermicro's product information to their website on all the blade information. Hey guys, we're back in the Super Micro booth here. Uh, day two of filming, actually. It's a lot of stuff to cover, but I got my friend Manoj here. Yeah. Uh, he's here to tell us about some stuff. Why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, so, hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Jordan. So, uh, I'm an FAE based out in India. Okay. Okay, we, uh, so I'm here on the, uh, the computer techs for, the, for my mm -hmm. customers who are traveling to India, from India. Okay. And also some of the uh, finding of some of the new partners or any new customers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so on this rack today we have the micro cloud, which is basically a 3U, yeah. which, is, uh, which can be available in both the Intel as well as the AMD latest IPEC 404. Okay. okay, and this is like a total like uh, blade type solution, right? Yeah, it's a blade type solution, but the key difference between this and the, uh, the super blade is that here you don't have a uh, the CMM module or you don't have a switch. Okay. So it's all the individual nodes. 
Oh, I see. We've got the network up front here. Yes, it's yeah. on the individual nodes, but still you can also have one uh, IPM port which you can able to monitor the entire the enclosure. Okay, so I can still turn each one on and yes. off through the uh, IPMI, yes. just yes. same interface yes. like I'm used to. And in case if you don't want to populate all the nodes, so in, you can have a double width, so we can also populate the C with GPUs onto that. Oh, wow, okay. Yes. What size GPU will connect? It's I a full light, full light, but it will okay. be a single one. Okay. Okay, the next we have the Hyper Series, which yep. is basically on the both Intel and the AMD platform. Yep. Okay, and in case and the, the key difference is here on the number of drive base. It can populate up to 24 drive base, both on the NVMe, SATA, and SAS. Yeah, we've and got a couple of these. These yes. are really good. And it's a dual socket. Dual socket. Yeah, virtual. dual socket. Yeah, okay. but with the X4, X14 series, what we have it on the okay. Intel Xeon, it can also have with the single socket also. Okay, so this will do the two 6th gen? Yes, Intel Xeon 6. Perfect. And then next we have the simple dub, simply double, which basically yeah. for your uh, the storage purpose. So all 3.5 inch drives. All right. And, and the will next this do just SAS and SATA on here? Yes, yeah, SATA uh, okay. and SAS. And the next we have the Grant. Basically, this is a 2U with a four, a four nodes, and they all the build is a single node. And you can have the option of the four uh, NVMe drives, which is individually drive things, either SATA or SAS. The next we have the Super uh, the Super Edge, which is basically designed yeah. for your uh, the uh, IoT, okay. which can also populate some of the GPUs onto that, like L40s or something like that. Okay, so this is like uh, maybe something you find in a telco rack or something. Yeah. Okay. Yes. The next we have the multiprocessor, which is uh, the which can be having quad socket. Okay, four socket. Okay. Four okay. socket. So generally, if you are yeah. saying about Intel. the eight socket, yeah. it will going to be in a four U platform. Okay. Four U. The next we have the the uh, the AMD's MI three hundred X, which is a eight yeah. U, which is an air cooled version. Okay. That's uh that's a lot of compute yeah. down there. <laughs> yeah. And the next what we have, so you can see, is the Mega DC, which is basically based on the Ampere based servers. So oh, Ampere. Okay. Ampere based CPUs. Yeah, that's, there's a lot of a uh, lot of buzz around those guys in the yeah. arm right now. So we can have up to 192 cores on the Ampere Ultra Max. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. Awesome. Well, there's a lot of a uh, lot of new things here. There's uh, some old friends that we've seen before, but uh, a lot of interesting stuff. Yes. But the, here we, I'm not able to show you on the the grand uh, the big twin or the fat twin. Yeah. yeah. So it, we have those products also. So Wonderful. basically, on the fat twin, you can have up to uh, du uh, dual socket. Okay. It's the same platform, but you'll have a, a two U. Yeah. With the four node, with each with a dual socket. That's okay. the key difference between the fat twin and the, uh, the big twin. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Sounds good. All right. Well, thanks so much for the tour of the rack. Uh, if you guys like this video, check out the links in the description. We've got a full write up on all these servers and offerings from Supermicro, as well as a link to their website of each of these products. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, check out all the rest of our Supermicro Computex 2024 content. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan.